What's up, everybody? My name is Scott Waters, and welcome to the Life to Metal. It's time for part four in the scrapbooks that I've been doing the last uh, few weeks. Um, let me warn you right now, if you're not a fan of Ted Nugent, you're probably not going to want to watch this one. Um, this is an all Nugent edition, because this scrapbook is nothing but Nugent. Uh, before I open up the scrapbook, I thought I'd show this, which is something that's been hanging on my wall for years. Um, I got this signed by Nugent back in 2008 when I met him in Beaver Creek, Wisconsin. Um, got to hang out for him hang out with him for the day and this is actual journey to the center of the mind uh, sheet music there's autographed by Nugent and there is Ted in the back uh, young 16 or so Ted Nugent um, who you would never find in the back of a photo and now these days because uh, he has since become the alpha male and here he was just part of the band um, that is not part of the scrapbook but I thought I'd show it because it's one of my favorite pieces I have in my collection all right so here's the scrapbook so this is um, obviously from front to back Nugent um, this is uh, it's just an ad out of a magazine for Double Live Gonzo. I have a friend who actually owned one of these double-headed Ted Nugent bears. I mean bears. Stuffed animals. Um, over here we got the I Love Animals, their delicious sticker. Um, I'm sorry if that offends anybody. Obviously Nugent's a hunter, so this is from his uh, hunting organization, the United Sportsman of America. And then over here, this is a uh, hype sticker from the front of Double Live Gonzo. Um, one of these reads, the Madman's Band is the greatest gonzoid heavy metal outfit to be found anywhere, but anywhere on the whole of our belligerent planet, Sounds Magazine. So uh, once again, proving that there was such a thing as heavy metal in the 70s, and Nugent was considered one of them, right there. Uh, and this is just a magazine, local publication that focuses on entertainment and politics. It's a very left-wing publication, um, so it's kind of shocking to see Nugent on the front cover. Um, of, of anything like that, which, which is the reason I picked it up, actually. Um, and uh, he was playing locally, and, the, and I'm, of course the magazine was uh, promoting the, uh, the show, which is, like I said, it's kind of shocking considering how left-wing this magazine is. Um, but the article that's in here, which I'm not sure I'm going to find, um, was nothing but a, you know, a bash fest <laughs> on Nugent. But uh, I guess good publicity, bad publicity, whatever, I guess people at the shows, and that's... What that was for, and I'm not saying what well, my political stance is at all with this. You know, I'm just this is just their political stance. You know, they are a left-wing publication. Um, so anyhow, uh, Amboy Dukes, old uh, eight by ten, eight, eight and a half by eleven flyer, um, probably from 1970, 71 around that age, because it was no longer the Amboy Dukes. It was Ted Nugent and the Amboy Dukes with special guest Cactus opening up. Uh, that would have been a cool show to go to. Huh? Uh, and then this is another one from the same show. Decatur. I'm not sure what state that's from. I should have looked that up. Um, Decatur, is that Illinois? I think it is. Um, anyhow, this is to buy tickets. Uh, right there, Decatur, Illinois. $5 advance, $6 at the door. Uh, some old Nugent magazines. I've got tons of old magazines. I'm not sure why I kept these ones in, in here. Maybe just because they're older or something like that. But Circus Magazine from 1978. Aerosmith poster. Got uh, Hip Raider from 82. Screen Dream, obviously. Uh, Groove Magazine from 78, um, cool Weekend Warriors ad on the back. Nugent was huge in the 70s, in the mid 70s to late 70s, he was one of the biggest concert draws um, in the world, I mean, just huge. Um, and, he did, and he did so without having a whole lot of singles, I mean, at the time his only big hit single really uh, that was being played at all on radio was Cat Scratch Fever. Uh, let's see what we got here, this is a circus from 1978 as well. The four pack, back cover, Kiss, um, with the little plastic bag that the original four came in. That plastic bag is probably worth as much as the, the records are these days. Uh, Ted Nugent promo photo. This is an actual photo, and it's obviously the same photo that was uh, used on the front cover of the first Nugent album, a black and white. Um, this is not from 74. This is uh, much later. It is a real photo, um, and it is really signed by Ted. I got this signed by him when I met him in 08. Obviously, um, it's a cool photo nonetheless. I was I always wanted to put that one in a frame, but I've got so much stuff framed and up uh, that one didn't make the cut. Uh, this one I got signed a year or two earlier when I met Ted, like the second time. And this is an original 8x10 promo photo, and it is 
as you can see a little yellow and very brittle a few more old brittle 8x10 photos from the early 70s this one was not mine this one was a friend who gave it to me um, as you can see it's very yellow it's cracked it's it's seen better days but I kind of like it it's got character um, it was given to me for free I'm what am I I'm not gonna complain so um, very cool uh, oh, this one was another one given to me by that, that same friend, and um, this one actually is autographed by him too. Um, unfortunately, it's not a real photograph; it is a uh, laser printout on photo paper, um, and then signed with Sharpie. And as you can see, the Sharpie is just spreading into the the toner, and I just don't like uh, toner-based photographs. I prefer, much prefer to have the real silver photographs, you know. Uh, this is not one. Still cool to have. A friend gave it to me, so I'd never get rid of it. Very cool of him to give it to me. The uh, Ten Nugent Band. This would have been from... Uh, huh, it's got to be after Cat Scratch Fever because Derek uh, St. Holmes is gone. Um, Cliff Davies is here, though. It's a uh, drummer, Cliff Davies, who was with Nugent for years and years up to the 80s, I believe. Uh, produced a bunch of his albums as well. Um, Cliff died several years ago. Uh, right before he died, though, I did get a chance to speak to him online some. And uh, he sent me these drumsticks, and um, they've never been used, but they're both signed by him. So I'm proud to own those from Cliff, sent directly to, uh, to me and a buddy of mine. He got a pair as well. My buddy has since passed away, but so I don't have any idea what happened to his pair. And there's a couple of these in here. And we got another one. This one's actually the full front press kit. And as you can see, this one too is yellowing a little bit, getting old. This is from the Double Live Gonzo album. Yep, Double Live Gonzo. This is from the Weekend Warriors album and, it's, and the press kits on the back, the biography. This is another one from the Weekend Warriors. Uh, this is <laughs> Ted Nugent with the Girl Scouts. <laughs> and um, as you can see on the back, it's a uh, Stop the Presses for immediate attention. Ted Nugent meets the Girl Scouts. It was a press release for um, in Boston, and uh, I picked this up many years ago on eBay cheap, and I thought it was just cool because it's unusual. It's not you know your typical uh, press release from uh, a record label, and a bunch of these ones coming up are all unusual press release photos, and they're actually bought in a lot, um, all from the '70s. So you got Ted Nugent racing. And there's the car with Ted Nugent on it. You can see if you look closely underneath of the uh, door there, you can see the name. And you can see the hair kind of flying in the back. <laughs> we got uh, Ted and Ann Wilson over here. Hart. Um, Ted and... Uh, I cannot remember the name of this band. This is the Romantics. Uh. Alright, somebody tell me who that band is because I just cannot remember for the life of me right now. Uh, it's been a while since I cracked up this, cracked open this, uh, this book. So, if anybody knows who this band is, I, it could be the Romantics. I might be right on that, but not 100% positive. So, someone let me know if I'm wrong. Uh, Ted and his child. And on the back, back side of this, we got Ted and uh, Charlie Daniels. Um, and Ted did play volunteer jam several times with Ted with uh, Charlie Daniels. And what we have here is a uh, volunteer jam backstage pass. Uh, another new Gents promo. This is from uh, the Intensities Intensities album with the press kit on the back from Epic Records. Uh, then we got another press kit here. This is from Little Miss Dangerous. This is the was it the second album on uh, Atlantic Records. Um, new record company, new sound. Uh, another full press kit here. This is uh, I believe this is from the, the tour they did with Yep. It's from the tour he did with, with uh, Bad Company, and it's in summer of 96, Bad Company, 10 Nugent, and this is a, a guest pass, I'll use guest pass in the full press kit for that tour. And there's another full press kit. Here we got, I just, just leave this open because I just keep pulling them off to show you. Oh, actually, this is empty, and there's a reason that's empty. There was a photo in here that is missing at the moment <laughs> um, it's currently framed and ready to be hung on the wall so that's why it's not in here 
Another Ninja Photo. This is uh, another full press kit. Even has a business card and a, a contract from the tour publicist. Spirit of the Wild tour, which I did see that tour. It was a great tour. I really enjoyed it. I also really enjoyed that album that he was touring for. Uh, I believe this is a promo photo for the Greatest Hits album. Uh, on the back side, we got some just some stuff. <laughs> Uh, July 20th at the Sunshine Theater, which is a show that I did see Nugent at. Um, took, my wife and I went to that show. We It was a, an all-ages show. and it, I mean, excuse me, it was a 21 and over show. And um, my son was also a Nugent fan at times, so and he was bummed he couldn't go. My wife and I went, and um, it was general mission, and we were jammed right up front. We stayed there the whole time. Got a ton of guitar picks from that show, um, which I will show in another video. I have a whole book full of guitar picks. Uh, a couple other... Ticket stubs. Most of my ticket stubs for Nugent are in the actual CDs of those albums that he was touring for. Um, the Ted Nugent sticker for WRFI, WRIF, dyslexia. <laughs> uh, Ted Nugent Spirit of the Wild photo, again, autographed by Nugent. Um, I was with my buddy uh, at this, sh at the, uh, I can't, what's the 2008 show in Beaver Creek, Wisconsin, and we had it, Ted. He had Ted signing so much stuff. After a while, Ted stopped signing, stopped putting the year, which is unusual because Ted always puts the year when he signs. But uh, like I said, my buddy paid, put uh, several thousand dollars into Ted Nugent's um, not ch his uh, charitable charitable thing, the society. I think it was a uh, camp for kids or something like that. So Nugent sat there for an hour, literally an hour, just signing autographs from my buddy and I, and uh, that's one of the ones that was signed there. This one was signed, obviously, back in '94. Virtual Attitude. Uh, Damn Yankees. This is one I took with me and had signed also in 08. Backside, some more backstage passes. This would have been a cool cool show to see. Ten Nugent, Blackfoot, and Crocus, 1981. That would have been a great show to see. A couple of Penetrator stage crew passes, and uh, this is actually a used guest pass. It's used, but it's it's not been stuck on anything, so it's still. Uh, this is a weird photo. This is another damn Yankees photo. This is actually signed by the whole band, um, and for whatever reason, this thing is starting to like the silver is starting to creep to the top. You can kind of see that how it's got that. Let's see if I maybe I should, nah, I don't want to take it. Out. I want to deal with that mess. But it's kind of it just has a weird silvery look to it. Um, had this hang on the wall for a while, and I decided to take it out and put it in the book so that it wouldn't turn anymore. You can kind of see down the corner down here. I don't know how well you can see it, but somehow it's just something's happened to it. <laughs> and it's like I said, it is a real photo, so some more backstage passes. Damn Yankees backstage passes and a backstage pass for the Bad Company tour. This one's autographed by Nugent as well. December 13th, 1990. Was not at that show. I wish I would have been. Um, did not get this autograph. This was given to me. Another photo I had, obviously signed in 08, it's Beaver Creek. And these are some actual photographs that are signed by Ted. This is a little blurry, but I just think it's a cool shot of him. It is a great shot of him from the very first, from the very, from the TNT tour, and then when uh, it was just under Nugent's first album for Atlantic Records. Great shot. A little older Ted, also autographed. Lots, like I said, this is all Ted, so uh, really old postcard from the uh, Free For All album. Or was it Cat Scratch Fever? Oh, can't remember. Anyhow, a photograph. Actually, I can't remember where I got this photograph from. I'm pretty sure it's a photo when he was with Damn Yankees. Full Bundle Nugity tour sticker, 2001. Uh, this one I actually won in a contest in the Vinyl Community. Um, from Patton Diorama. Um, so very cool. In the book, signed by Nugent in 02. Tour schedule from Beaver Creek, Wisconsin. There's the backstage pass from that show. Um, I had a VIP pass. Uh, Nugent gave me a, a whole bunch of guitar picks. There's one of them sitting in the bottom right there. We've got many, many more, which, like I said, I'll show you later. Um, because I had a VIP pass, I was able to watch the show from the front of the stage, the side of the stage, wherever. So this is some photos that I took from the, of the show. Um, I have one of the photos blown up huge and hanging on my wall framed, but uh, these are some other ones that I had 
eight by tens I took using a real camera as opposed to a you know phone or a digital camera. This is my friend Morgan. That's my friend Morgan, and there's me looking really short next to a very tall Ted Nugent and Morgan. <laughs> Those guys are tall. And um, uh, my friend Morgan died back in 2010, and I uh, miss him dearly. Um, and uh, anyhow, my wife took this photograph and sent it to, uh, she got a hold of Ted Nugent's office somehow and sent the, re sent the photo to them and uh, asked them if they could get it signed by, by Ted and sent it back. And um, of course, Ted knew. Morgan better than he knew me, um, and he actually doesn't know me at all. I was, I've only met him like three times, but uh, he sent it back. Godspeed, Blood Brothers, Ted Nugent. Um, they actually sent my wife actually sent two of them in case he wanted to keep one for himself. But he sent them back, both back, and the other one is framed and it says uh, "In the Wind, He's Still Alive" to Nugent Ten. I really wasn't. She really wasn't expecting to send back both. She's always going to keep one, but he did send them both back, and they were both both signed. And uh, here's a personal letter in here from from my friend that I've. We'll keep with that photo forever. Here's me and uh, me and Teddy shaking hands. Another photo I took from Beaver Creek. Greg Smith on bass over here, and this is uh, of course uh, Wild Wild McBrown from uh, Dokken over here on drums. Bunch of just photos of this is I don't remember this guy's name. He was just another guy who was backstage with us. Um, I actually spent a lot of time hanging out with um, Greg and Wild and McBrown. Um, Greg was cool because Greg told us all kinds of stories. Greg played with Rainbow for a while, so he was telling us lots of stories about Richie Blackmore and you know touring with Richie, and so that was kind of neat. Um, let's see what else is in here. I can't remember what else is in here. Oh, just some more photos that I had taken. Anyhow, yeah. really old stickers, uh, intensities, intensity stickers. There's a couple different ones in here. Let's see if I can get one of the other ones up. It's old promotional stickers. Some more. Spirit of the Wild, giant Spirit of the Wild sticker, which will have nowhere to put it. It's just going to stay in the book forever. Uh, I did poster series before, so you've seen a ton of my Nugent posters. This is out of a magazine. It's folded, so I just keep it in here. Whoever had this poster before me I actually had the Aerosmith side out. And the Aerosmith side is cool too because I'm a, just as big a fan of Aerosmith as I am with Ted Nugent. Um, and only like you can tell that because uh, you can see a little bit of the where the tape pulled off some of the ink at the corner there. Very cool poster. I think that poster was uh, actually from from Germany. My buddy in Germany is actually the one who gave it to me many years ago. Uh, Love Grenade. Promotional stickers, United Sports of America patch, um, review of the Love Grenade tour here in Albuquerque. Uh, what do we got in here? This is a uh, this is a Nugent bandana. It says Nugent is my president. I'm not sh I'm not, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> All right, and so we're almost to the bottom of this one here, and uh, this is the last few things we got here. Sorry, it was my phone ringing. I had to answer that real quick. This is a. Uh, let's see, empty here. These are actually <laughs> like like anybody would know the difference, right? But these were actual strings used by Ted Nugent and given to me by Ted Nugent in Beaver Creek, Wisconsin. Um, so very cool. I mean, these are actually Nugent strings. <laughs> Bunch of different bumper stickers that were given to me. Uh, here's a. You can't do this in France. Ted Nugent, Spirit of the Wild. Another uh, Love Animals, another Nugent is my president uh, bandana, and um, that's it. There's the back. So there you go. Another in the tour book, the tour book, <laughs> another in the scrapbook edition of my, uh, this, I don't know, memorabilia series that I've been doing. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave some comments below, and um, unless your comments are about politics or about Ted Nugent being a pedophile or 
about 10 years of crapping in his pants, all that stuff. I don't want, I don't want to hear about it. If you want to talk about his music, I'm all for that. Let's do that. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to probably ignore your comments. So. But uh, yeah, cool. Anyhow, that's it. God bless and stay strong.